Hi, I'm Christopher Knight, and this is Pork Chops and Applesauce, and today I'm being joined by Dr. Mitlerner at, uh, here at UC Davis in California. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today, Doctor. Well, thank you for having me. So imagine this being the surface of the Earth, okay? okay? This is oceans and land. Okay. Now I fold this piece of paper twice until it's now one quarter of its original size. This is the amount of total land in the world. The rest is water and ice. And of this total land, the equivalent of my business card is the total amount of agricultural land. Okay. The rest is mountainous forests desert. and deserts and mountains and so on. Mm -hmm. Now I take my business card and I will fold it into one piece that's two thirds and the other piece that's one third of its original size and I will rip my own business card into pieces. Okay. This piece of the business card is referred to as marginal land. This means that this piece of land either doesn't have good soil quality to grow crops or it doesn't have enough water. It's marginal land. This piece of land is only used by one agricultural commodity and that's ruminant livestock. Cows, sheep, goats, that's it. You can't grow anything on this piece of land with respect to crops because you don't have enough water and or the correct soil. This piece of land here, one third of my business card, is the only piece of land in the world that we have that's called arable land that's suitable to grow all the crops in the world combined. And whether we have 3 billion people, 7, 9 or 12 billion people in the world, that's the amount of land we have to grow crops. So This is marginal land, this is arable land. So for all those out there who would profess for all of us to become vegetarian, if this is the world, this is amount, the amount of land that you have to grow everything that you want to eat on, and it doesn't get larger. Right. But the population does. I want to thank you today for joining us. I think that uh, our eyes are a lot more open uh, now after having this conversation with you. Makes me very happy. Thank you for coming, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. And that has been Pork Chops and Applesauce.